Hey, Alex, uh, just start with your assessment of uh, the performance from your group today. Uh, I think obviously it wasn't uh, good enough to, tonight. We didn't uh, come up to our our standard. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think uh, we all agree on that. Uh, so, you know, it's, uh, <clears throat> it just wasn't uh, our best effort. Uh, and, you know, we got to come back tomorrow and with a better one. I know you guys don't want to use it as an excuse, but is this everything that's happened over the last month kind of coming home to roost a bit here? It's hard to say, but like as a player, you never use that. Like you say, you never use it as an excuse. Uh, you know, when you dress for a game, uh, there's no excuses. Uh, you know, sometimes you feel great. Sometimes you might not feel that great, but uh, you know, then you got to find a way to get your legs, maybe play simple, smarter. So, uh, you know, every, every player, every team goes through uh, games or stretch when they might not feel great, but uh, you know, good teams, they find a way. Next up, we'll go to Jay Janauer. Alex, last week there was a real belief on this hockey team with the wins that you had. With the losses that you've just suffered, I'm wondering how much that belief has taken a hit and how much do you feel for Thatcher? Because I think the one constant tonight was his effort when everyone else in front of it wasn't there. Can you tell me about what the room's like right now? Uh, I think we always believe in ourselves, in our group. Uh, but, you know, in our situation, we're just taking one game at a time and, uh, you know, it's another game tomorrow and that's all we're focused on. How do you explain an effort like like tonight's, Alex? And, you know, and, and I know everyone's talked about the COVID and you guys don't want to use that excuse, but how do you explain an effort like that, especially when you're entering the second period, jet down one goal and and not even a minute, you're you know, you're down by two. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure. I think uh, you know, tonight it starts with uh, us defending. Uh it's something we've talked about. You gotta defend well to to, you know, uh, shut down the other team and create offense. Uh, and I think uh, we got to do a better job of that. Uh, and it's all five guys uh, working together in our D zone, uh, whether it's back pressure or, you know, communication or puck battles. So uh, I think uh, it starts there a bit. And we'll take one more here from Ian McIntyre. Alex, it's uh, not often we see Travis as upset as he was early in the second period when he uh, you know, used a timeout to yell at you guys. Uh, wh what was the message and did it have, did it wake guys up? Did it get anyone's attention? Yeah, I think so. I think, uh, you know, whenever you need to take time out to get your team going, it's not a, that's not a good sign. So, uh, you know, uh, we had a bad start in the second uh, and, uh, you know, uh, but there, at that time there's still a lot of game left. So we just got to, you know, pick ourselves up and, you know, play, one good shift at a time and then go from there. How much are you, is the team missing Elias Pedersen? Uh, I think any team would miss a uh, elite player like that, uh, but you know, he's not ready yet. So, uh, you know, that's, that's the way it is. And we got to play with, with, with the players we have. And, you know, we still have a good group of guys here that we believe in.